Hi, I'm Tanya Bronstein. I teach ArtQuest Photography, and I've been teaching ArtQuest Photography um, since 2000, I believe it was. I'm Brooke Duello, and I teach ArtQuest Visual Fine Arts. I'm Jerry Parks. I'm the program assistant for ArtQuest. Joe McDivitt, I am Advanced Visual Fine Arts teacher with Brooke DeLello and teach ArtQuest. Hello, my name is John Sappington. I'm the Digital Arts Instructor here at ArtQuest. What was your first impression of Jim? Uh, Jim was probably the most relaxed individual I interacted with at the beginning of my career here. Mm -hmm. He was relaxed and had everything under control without appearing to be too um, controlling. Well, Jim and I came on about the same time. I had been teaching elective photography here, and mm -hmm. uh, they just made art photography part of the ArtQuest program. And I remember the first meeting, seeing him in a, um, just, he was a very quiet man. His vast knowledge that cuts across disciplines and his willingness to support other disciplines. Mm -hmm. And his Hawaiian shirts. His kindness. The man, from the moment I started working here as a student teacher, was nothing but kind to me. What do you like most about Jim? Um, his knowledge. <laughs> um, I'm, there's a part of me that's hesitant and a little, I mean, aside from just missing him, he's so knowledgeable and runs his show and production so well that um, it's such a viable resource for us and, and such um, an integral part of us doing things like showcase and and also he's a big part of our meetings and conversations. He's kind of keeps it all going and I'm, I don't even know what we're going to do without him. There's so many things that I like about Jim. Um, that he's gracious and kind. Um, he's crazy ass funny. That's fine. Can I say that? That's fine. That's fine. Sorry. Uh, if you could sum up Jim Helmer in one word, what would it be? Relaxed, kind, helpful, balanced. Now, why do you say balance? Well, he seems to be able to juggle so many different things in a way that you wouldn't know that he was doing that. He's calm. He, he you can never tell that he has all these projects going on, mm -hmm. and I, I've always admired that about him. You know, they always say no one is indispensable, but mm -hmm. indispensable, authentic. Authentic. Yeah. Now, why do you say authentic? He's um, you. He is what you see. Resourceful. Ooh. Um, silly, or um, you know, uh, very. Um, he likes to try to find new ways for us to uh, be more confident in our filmmaking. So he's very hardworking and mm -hmm. and, respe and respected. Yeah. I would say a mentor. A mentor, why do you say a mentor? Because to everyone, he is our teacher, mm -hmm. but he has that ability to be more than that for everyone. Uh, what is your most enjoyable moment of Helmer? Mm, that's a hard one. Um, there's a lot. Hmm, it would be getting brunch with him, but he hasn't gone to brunch with us last yet. So, yet. so um, I don't know. Like every day, I'd say. Every day? Yeah. Uh, what is your fondest memory of Jim? Probably my fondest, it's kind of a weird, quirky one, is that um, one time some video students kind of got Jim in trouble. I can't exactly remember, or, or I don't want to say what that was exactly, but he was on administrative leave, meaning he couldn't teach and he had to not be at school. And we were in the middle of doing one of the showcase posters, because oh, that's yeah. one of the things that Jim and I always do together. We do the design part and we work on that. Um, so we were, it was just before we were done with the poster and he wasn't allowed to be on campus. Mm -hmm. And so um, we would have to have these uh, illicit meetings. So I had to like meet him on the corner of such and such or go, you know, drive up to his house and give him a proof because in those days you couldn't email things really mm -hmm. easily and all that. So that was pretty funny and we joke about that um, a lot. Um, probably, um, not a, there's not a singular memory, but 
Uh, years ago, my sidekick, Elizabeth Evans, and I had fifth period prep together, and so did Mr. Helmer and Mr. Broussard. So um, there were always kind of rumors about, really weird, unfounded rumors about Elizabeth and I being a, an item. <laughs> and both of us were married to other, you know, to men and whatever, but, but there was this thing, you know, that people kind of wondered. A passionate and so, love Yes, and so we, we would always suggest that there was, the same thing was happening with um, Jim and Ralph. So we would joke about double dating with Jim and Ralph and, you know, whatever. So that, I missed that. There was just like a really, just a lot of fun repartee around that. Um, uh, when you were hiring him, did he stand out from other candidates that you were looking into? fulfilling that position with? Well, as I recall, he didn't really, we didn't really have that many candidates because it was a brand new thing. And part of the, when we branched, when we split the two cl the classes into two, the Malcolm and Dean into two. And um, what I remember about hiring Jim is that this woman, Paulette Bell, uh, she was a very tall woman, about six foot three or so, oh. very imposing. Um, I had a tiny little office upstairs in the main building and at the time, and all of a sudden, Paulette Bell, who was our tech at the time at Santa Rosa High School, stormed into my office and opened the door. I went, oh, hi, Paulette. And she said, why won't you hire Jim Helmer? And I said, who's Jim Helmer? <laughs> and so um, she proceeded to tell me that she had been writing letters of recommendation for him and uh, on and on and that he had applied and I had never even done him the courtesy of calling and I said I never got the application because all of those applications were kind of held at the district and mm -hmm. because he didn't have some little uh, thing checked on the box they never got to me so then I got the application we interviewed him and he was absolutely perfect so yeah. And do you have a message to send him off with? Well, he knows that I've decided I'm moving to Florida, too. <laughs> just kidding. But I will visit sometime, Jim, and just best of luck. And you know that we all love you and we're going to miss you. And I hope you have signed your consultant contract because we are going to need a little help next fall. Good luck, and hopefully you don't run into any more students like me. Bye, Mr. Helmer. Thank you for everything. I love you, Helmer. Uh, Helmer, thank you so much for everything you've done for not just me, but everyone else in the class. Um, not just teaching us how to be good filmmakers, but good students for the future and better people in the world for uh, success. Um, Jim, you are obviously easily replaced. Um, I don't even know what you really do in your classes. Clearly, from your student who's not even been in your class for a year, who's running the whole show, it's really the students that are doing everything and you do nothing. Um, so you won't be missed. Um, go, go off, have fun. Go to Florida or wherever you're gonna go, some, some state that no one really knows about, the armpit of the country, really, um, and play this emphatic game that's so amazing called pickleball that I've never heard of in my entire life. Um, <laughs> and all joking aside, Jim, you are going to be in insanely missed, and I uh, absolutely adore you. Hey, Helmer, move back to Santa Rosa when Florida floods. <laughs> It'll only be a couple years. Make sure your wife sees this. Look it up on the internet. 2020, you guys should be back in Santa Rosa. Jim, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> or don't go far. Stay in touch, please. We all miss you just that we'll miss you, Jim, and we wish you the best of luck um, in your next chapter of your life. I would love to tell you, Jim, that um, I wanted to do an interpretive dance, but the guys tell me that that was not um, the forum for it. So I just want to tell you that we are going to miss you so much, and um, we know you're going to have a fantastic retirement, and you guys are going to enjoy Florida, but uh, we love you, and we're going to miss you. <laughs> 